Good morning, my sister, no brother, brother, we're here, trusting that you are doing well. So if you can hear behind me, you can hear the rain, the rain, it is raining here. It is pouring outside. But nevertheless, it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. I, picture, I had issues with my turning my phone horizontal, but nevertheless, let us get started. So here is one quote that I had today it says Satan wants your children he wants to destroy their innocence and their minds filling their minds with confusing message from Hollywood and the music industry lest Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices this is coming from 2nd Corinthians chapter 2 verses 11 2nd Corinthians chapter 2 verses 11 here is another one in the last days, do you agree that we are living in the last days? And I, I believe if someone don't think that we are living in the last days, I believe they are living on a different planet. It says, in the last days, good will be called evil and evil called good. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness from light and light from darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. This is coming from Isaiah chapter 5 verses 20. Isaiah chapter 5 verses 20. So we are in the last days. Let us bow for prayer as we get into our topic, our devotion to be like Jesus. This is our prayer, to be like Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. As the rain is pouring through Central Valley, Father God, we ask you to allow that rain to pour into our heart wash anything that is not of you father god we thank you father god for hearing for answering through the holy spirit in jesus name amen and amen and i would need to add my father god i need to add that you would decrease me father god i need to add that you would decrease me father god decrease me decrease me father god so that you will be increased is my prayer in jesus name amen and amen okay so let's get into our scripture it's exodus 25 verses 2 right exodus 25 verses 2 and it says speak unto the children of israel that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart he shall take an offering so god is looking for willing offering my sister and brother willing offering so let's get into our topic today. We're in the month of March and the topic, or I should say the highlight is investing time and other talents, investing time and other talents. So the topic today is both money and active service needed, both money and active service needed. So let's get into it. Father God, as we open your word, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to give us a lesson in this topic today. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And it stayed here. I have heard men and women who have been engaged in the work in the publishing house and sanitarium, meaning sanitarium back in those days was like a hospital, complain of having to work over hours. If they cannot stop work after eight hours labor, they become dissatisfied. But these very ones, when they enter business for their own private benefit, will work on fully 10 hours as they do in America and often extend their labor to 12 hours. They make no complaints because it is in their own personal interest. In, no, God, let me go back, it makes every difference whether the time is to be employed to their own special advantage or for the service of God in their neighborhood. Yeah. Willing service in saving the means that is so limited is more satisfying than hoarding means. With the right motive in view, such time would be reckoning as devoted to the service of God. This definite work 
for God in building, in planting, in reaping harvest, or in a line of work will cost considerable thought and labor. But it pays, but it pays. Let me repeat that. This definite work for God in building, in planting, in reaping harvest, or in a line of work will cost considerable thought and labor, but it pays. God will multiply the resources. He will help in producing the means. Many are already working in this line and have always done so. The devotion of time to God in any line of work is a most important consideration. Some can use the pen to write a letter to some far off friend. By consecrating personal labor, we may, in many ways, do personal service for God. Some think that if they give a portion of their money to the cause of God, this is all they are required to do. And the precious time given them of God, in which they could do hours of personal service for Him, passed by unimproved. It is the privilege and duty of all who have help and strength to render to God active service. Let me repeat this. It is the privilege and the duty of all who have help and strength to render to God active service. The giving of donation in money cannot take the place of this. Those who have no money can substitute personal labor. And even money can be made in various ways in this work. Everyone may be a laborer together with God. Everyone may be a laborer together with God. The hours which have been usually spent in recreation that has not rested or refreshed either body or soul may be spent in seeking to help some poor soul who is in need of help in visiting the poor, the sick, and the suffering. Our time is God's, and as Christian, we must use it to glory of God. I repeat that. Our time is God's, and as a Christian, we must, we must, must use it to the glory of God. So that concludes my devotion, my sister and brother. Both money and active service is needed. So you cannot just give the money and no active service. You cannot just go the active service and don't give money. So it goes hand in hand. Both money and active service is needed. So keep that in mind, my sister and brother. Let us keep that in mind. I know when we go to church, there's so many... Um, positions available and um they got back i remember when i was on the board and stuff there was always an individual that was working had so much to do and so little time to have personal time at home and then you got the individual that had so much time on personal time and not enough time doing um ministry for god meaning going visiting the sick or writing letters or making phone calls. So there's always a lack in the house of God. Uh, so each one of us need to be very mindful that we need to, uh, I would say, uh, get to work. We need to get to work. And sometimes we find yourself that, sometimes you find yourself, I don't know about you, but sometimes I find myself, it's like, there's so much to do and it's not, not enough. So it's more, so we said there are more, and then sometimes, sometimes too in the churches, there's too many chiefs. Too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Too many people want to give orders, but they don't want to do the work. And it doesn't go like that. Or people take positions in the church just to glorify themselves and don't do the work. So, you know, so we got to be very mindful, my sister and brother. God is calling each one of us to active service. So whether you're in the church or you are in your home, your home as a as a mother, as, as a woman of God, your first priority is in the home and then you take your ministry outside to the to the congregation but don't neglect your home and running to the church does that make sense because i find a lot of time i know i find it within the men 
um, they lack their time at home and then they run to the church thinking that that will make up for what they need to do at home and run to the church so you got to be have to you have to have this balance you have to be balanced in everything so if your home your first mission at home is your home my sister and brother your first mission is at home and especially if you have small children your first mission is in your home so make sure that you have that going before you signed up in the church for all these different positions and then you find yourself overwhelmed overworked stressed out on the work and you're stressed out on the job and you'll be no good to yourself you won't be no good to your family my sister brother so keep that in mind we are here to do active service but we have to weigh balance everything we have to balance we have to have balance balance in life don't go too far to the left or too far to the right you got to be balance 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 so with that my sister and brother I love you. I appreciate you. But let's go ahead and I have not prayed. Let's close off with prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this message. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. I thank you, thank you, Father God, that you are merciful, God. You sit high, you look low, Father God. And you did not leave me here by myself. So, Father God, I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. Right now, Father God, I'm asking you to be with my sister, my brother, that stopped by here and those who will stop by in the future. Continue to bless each and every one of us, Father God. And we ask you, Father God, to pour your Holy Spirit in each and every one of us so that we can get to work and do what you have called each and every one of us to do. And Father God, we forever give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. We thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, with that, my sister and brother, I love you, love you. Until then, but before, okay, so this is Bird Dead Warrior. Most people say, who is this? Who is this? This is Bird Dead Warrior. You can find me at birddellwarrior.com. You could go over to YouTube under Bird Dead Warrior. There's a wealth of information there for you and your whole entire family. I believe I have like 1,900 episodes right now. So there's a wealth of information. And guess what? It's kids friendly. It's kids friendly. So just go over there and just click, 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 share, share, share. And thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to reach the best you and your family. I got my grandbaby here right now, and she's like, oh, Grandma, can you hurry up so we can get playtime? So with that, my sister and brother, what else I need to tell you? Oh, four hugs for survival. We're going to do the four, four, four hugs for survival. So here we go. One, two, three, four. I love you, my sister and brother. I love you. I love you. Until tomorrow. Be blessed and take care. Love you.